Hey YouTube, it's September 11th when I'm going for my walk today and I just wanted to record a little something. I'm talking about the YouTube video response system going away and um, this is basically a reply to Got That Funk who, when we say Got That Funk, I agree with your video and um, I agree with the points that were expressed by the other YouTube creators in your video. But I have a feeling that it won't matter what people say, uh, whether they ask for the video response feature to remain. It just strikes me, or at least my initial impression is, that such a decision, a decision so apparently short-sighted and mean-spirited, is um, obviously so stupid, it must have come from a very high level indeed. So I doubt that that would get reversed. On further consideration though, I do see, I think, what they're trying to do. And from an engineering perspective, it would be even less likely that the decision would get um, reversed. So as to the only four million per, no, four in a million uh, click-throughs on the replies. Well, YouTube's been gunning for the video response system, as far as I can tell, for a while now. The, the um, videos in the video response have dropped down the page until they're really no longer visible um, on the first page. You have to scroll down to find the responses. The video responses have never, as far as I can see, been available on mobile platforms. You can't even post a video response. You can't even reply to a comment on your channel on the mobile app. Uh, I guess the mobile app is really designed more for the old style broadcast where you just push the content and you don't want the user to do anything but click on ads or click on next video. It's not really designed with interaction in mind. So I can see why uh, they don't mind just dropping it from the rest of the site. The four per million click-through rate is probably more or less true. It's just not true on the kind of videos we like to watch and interact with. I find that my click-through rate on um, replies that I've left is much higher. I would say maybe four per thousand. Now that's not great, but still it's significantly better than four per million. Um, further to that, I would say that I, I would say that um, one of the things that YouTube probably doesn't like very much about video replies is they get almost no ad click-through. I bet that's a bigger issue for them. In fact, people building communities and having discussions on YouTube tend to be exactly the kind of people who fail to monetize their videos and fail to monetize their replies. Or, in other words, what YouTube or Google Tube would probably refer to as deadbeats or freeloaders. And I suppose since it's their site and they're trying to make money, not communities, and after all, communities are very dangerous things. People talking to each other, that's exactly the sort of thing the NSA is trying to prevent these days. Um, very dangerous for the people in power, especially when they're hoarding all the good stuff. God, I don't want people plotting. Anyway, the technical reason, I imagine, is they're simply going to consolidate their code base. They've got a comment system for blogs, they've got a comment system for Google+, they've got a comment system for YouTube, and really, why have all those engineers maintaining all those comment systems when you could consolidate the whole works and just pick your favorite comment system. And I think that's what they're going to do. Google Plus comment system across the board. And so you can't do video replies. So instead of saying, 
Oh, we're just cramming Google Plus comment system in and it doesn't support video replies and we don't care. They're saying, oh, we're going to give you better comment systems. Google Plus is better comment, I think. Uh, cause, <laughs> let's face it, YouTube is notoriously bad. 500 characters and what is that that they use as an excuse for threaded conversations? Ah. So they give us Google Plus, they say, that's a better comment system. And instead of saying, but it doesn't do video replies, they say, oh, and we've got a great new way of doing video supplies. You just use the feature where you add a URL. Ah, big whoop. I guess as a function, you see, and this is the, the software engineer side of me thinking, where you go, well, technically we support that function allowing you to put a video in by allowing a URL. It's not the same, it's not convenient for the user, but it's really convenient for the developers. So, I don't think there's much hope of saving the video replies, at least not from Google. However, it does open up the door for third parties. Maybe someone can develop a good little uh, video reply plugin for Firefox. And uh, well, the other browsers support plugins too. That might be worth uh, having a go at if anyone's handy at programming plugins. Anyway, that's it for me. I think talking and going up that hill at the same time have pretty much done me in. It's a long, long way to